Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you 21 June here, third Friday in June, options expert today. Um, in the S&P contract, should be some vol. Um, regarding that, let's have a quick look at, um, at FX first, though. This is the DXY. Very, very important here. Uh, this 200 day moving average 96.56. Here we are, 55. We've been through at 50. This has been supportive for 13 months, six touches. It looks like it's breaking here, um, driven by dollar yen, which we talked about yesterday on getting short through 107.50 and getting short through geopolitical news. Um, so of course short dollar yen uh, is still the way, but we need to talk about the other part of the dollar index, the more important part, which is Euro. So if you believe this is going to break, and it does look like it is going to break, um, Euro technically has to go higher. How can Euro go higher? Uh, after the Sintra news from from Draghi well if the PMIs today come out in line or slightly better that that could do it we have French uh, and German and aggregate services and manufacturing PMIs today a surprise on the upside um, could move this thing so let's keep an eye on that uh, we also have manufacturing and services PMI out of America later in the day um, so that'll be 3 uh, 345 p.m. Swiss time and then existing home sales uh, at 4 o'clock I don't know what's going to drive it it's hard to get bullish euro because the news out of Europe is so crap but if you take away the title of this chart if you take away the title euro dollar here what is this chart telling us well it's telling us, number one, we've been in a slow downtrend for a long time. But recently, we've we've turned. Obviously, this is FOMC driven. Um, and change in trend and change in kind of everything is this 113.50. So, you know, it doesn't really matter what drives it up there. Uh, if you want to pre-trade it, obviously, it, it, the PMIs could be your horse. But a daily close above 113.50, and then kind of there's going to be a squeeze. You, you just got to believe most people are short euro. There's no really good reason to own euros. Um, I can't think of any good reason, so I haven't looked at the CFTC data recently, but I'm sure people are short euros. Uh, and you can play the squeeze side of this. 113.50, I can't... I can't overestimate how important this level is, um, and we're not that far away. Okay, vol is is uh, on its knees, so it's kind of a long way uh, for a Friday in June. But let's keep an eye on it. PMIs might be the might be the driver today. Uh, on the flip side, this chart has caught my interest we've been talking about it for the last couple of days this uh, euro euro sterling chart so yesterday was a bit of a slippery uh, kind of a slippery BS day BOE came out dovish um, we talked about giving up on shorts above uh, 8910 which we did uh, and we saw a move to 22 and then we just kind of mysteriously saw this move back down um, on a more sort of bullish mansion house speech and just general sterling strength um, <coughs> excuse me this chart is begging to go lower uh, again take away the title of this chart euro sterling and take away Brexit and Boris and and whatever um, this chart wants to go lower and 8870 is, is is kind of the moment 
What's going to drive this? I don't know. Again, it could be PMIs. If PMIs shit the bed, um, this is going to be my horse, Euro Sterling lower. If PMIs are strong, I'll be playing Euro Dollar higher. So we're looking both ways. We're finally balanced on this. Uh, we're not uh, taking any bias into this fight, which is normally the best way to do this, uh, this business. Uh, and especially recently, um, the insanity of price in a lot of asset classes, fixed income comes to mind, equities comes to mind, this sort of bubbly, uh, irrational behavior. It doesn't pay to uh, use logic in these asset classes, and FX has always been like that. Logic doesn't uh, win the day. It's a matter of managing psychology and just trading price. So anyway, this chart looks like it wants to flip over. What could drive it? It could be sterling. Um, we do have uh, the BOE quarterly bulletin today this afternoon and we have um, public sector net borrowing that really doesn't drive it too much but again very similar to the euro chart this thing looks like it's turning 127.65 this is basically your 113.50 level in euro um, and so even if euro goes higher if cable is rushing higher with it uh, euro sterling this could drive euro sterling lower um, so this also could be, it could actually be, Euro could be going higher, but cable could just be going higher more, faster. Anyway, let's keep an eye on this uh, 8871 uh, in Euro sterling. Let's go to dollar yen. God, it took so long to break 50 yesterday, and London was closing, and we're sitting there 53.4 after the Iran news, and but once it finally went, it went, and that was nice. Um, but just, it's just amazing how slowly these moves materialize these days. Um, and I guess it's, a lot of it has to do with algos providing liquidity instead of humans. But that said, uh, this is just a sell-on rally. Pretty straightforward. I don't think we're going to get above 50 today. Um... You kind of can say with pretty good certainty that selling between 40 and 80 uh, should yield some profit here. Your stop kind of has to be um, above yesterday's sort of 107.88 high. If you look at the hourly chart, you'll see that high uh, right here. So will we get above even this 37.40? Maybe. You know, this is FX. Uh, but selling high ones in dollar yen looks to be looks to be the way. Let's just have a quick look at stocks here. Uh, pretty decent day yesterday. Uh, thirty handles up and then thirty handles down and thirty handles back up again. So that's ninety handles um, from end to end. So thirty up at the beginning, thirty down, uh, end of. European close and then 30 handles back up at the New York close. Incredible vol. Uh, makes, uh, this price actually makes zero sense to me. Um, but I'm just pointing it out that there will be more vol today and it's options expiry. So let's keep, um, let's keep a close eye. Well, let's not even keep keep a close eye, but uh, let's be nimble with stocks. I don't know technically what to do with this. Um, I can't advocate buying it, although it looks pretty damn bullish. Uh, and I can't really advocate selling it because it looks pretty damn bullish. Um, but it's so stretched on the top side. But people are so caught short still, it seems. Um, I just don't know what to do with this. But if you are playing size accordingly, right? 90 handles yesterday. That is decent. Speaking of uh, volatile, check crude. We all know what happened. I ran blah, 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 blah. blah. Uh, 157.80 the high. This is probably just going to continue higher. Your, your, your first point of resistance is 59 bucks. 
this is the 200 day um, again put your goggles on if you're gonna be trading oil uh, and geopolitical news bombs galore there is some money to be made if you're nimble and you're a news trader which we're too old for that for the most part um, but ball is higher it is moving money can be made I'll just leave it at that all right listen uh, I will uh, leave you guys with that euro dollar top side 11350 is a huge focus euro sterling downside uh, also big big focus today 8971 on the euro sterling we're fading dollar yen um, selling high ones and we'll just be watching from afar the crude market and the equity market as um, things whip around. Good luck out there, people. Make some dough and uh, have a nice weekend. Ciao.